Welcome to the channel, Gaming Army. This first drop of two today has us playing a domination match on Crimson Strait. Now, I pushed into the center capture point to assist my teammates, and we have come across uh, kind of a pack of light mechs, and oh boy, there is an assault mech. It's a charger. I'm not sure where he came from. He must have cut his way through the saddle down to the underground through Echo 5 into the tunnel that way. But either way, that's not necessarily a fight I want to take. I can poke a peek a couple of times, but that's not what I want to do in a Black Lantern. I want to do more hit and run slashing attacks or do something where I can utilize my ECM to take enemy units unaware. So taking the fight at the mouth of the tunnel, not necessarily a good choice for me. I've held his attention long enough for reinforcements to show up, and I'm going to let them have that tunnel fight. I'm going to reposition, and as I reposition, I am going to start chanting in my cockpit, burning incense, and saying prayers to the tunnel goddess that she will provide a bountiful harvest and keep me protected. So as I zip around the backside, you can see on my lantern, it is a fast mover, 113 kph. We're outfitted with four medium pulse lasers. And the one thing I like about this lantern is that ECM to keep me safe, protected, or at least unobserved by some of the enemy pilots. Now we're coming around the backside of the tunnel. Hopefully, whoever's in the tunnel is focused on my teammates on the opposite end. And sure enough, this appears to be a very target-rich environment. Our charger friend has moved outside, but in the tunnel we have a crusader, and we're going to get some shots in on his back. He appears to be unaware. I thought he might spin around, but... No, he is focused on my teammates at the front. So we're going to do some damage on him. I know he has some teammates with him, but right now we're getting a lot of good back shots. And this is a very tactical, superior position to be in because even if he does turn around to engage me, that exposes his back to all of my teammates. We wind up taking the kill, and now we found our little urban mech friend. <laughs> and I feel kind of dirty one-shotting him in the back like that. That, but I'll take the Target kill acquired. and here's another one of his Atlas teammates and it's an Atlas now at first I start working the right torso just because I know that's where his ballistics are going to be um, but I think I can punch through center torso and just remove him from the game wholesale and I think one more shot ought to do it and yes indeed Target there is our kill down. shot our friend the Charger is still out in the tunnel entrance, and he's heavily damaged. Looks like my teammates are able to mop him up pretty handily. Checking the side entrance, oh my, we have a Crusader, and he's put himself into timeout. He's just standing in the corner, so we will add to his punishment. No, I don't know. He, he's probably AFK or disconnected, which is unfortunate. And now I really do feel dirty because I'm going to take the kill on that Crusader. I'm going to push out and see what else I can find around the corner here. And spinning out around, I've managed to find a couple of enemy units. And while I am trying to get a shot on that Jenner, I've got another one that runs by me. I'm not quick enough on the draw. A little slow with the reflexes there. Trying to get a shot on the unit that just ran up over the hill. And that's not going to work out quite so good. Now, it looks like most of the enemy units are ahead of me in the Echo 5 low ground. So I've got to push forward a little bit to see if I can re-engage. And there is a nice target, the Gargoyle. He is open CT. And I can't quite land the shots on him. He manages to open my left leg, which is less than desirable. And then pushing around the other side, I see one of his teammates, the Shadow Cat. And as he goes vertical, I take out his right leg. And this is the weirdest part. Now I am just trying to focus that left leg. And nothing seems to quite finish off the left leg for the next kill on the Shadow Cat. And while I'm goofing around with that, the enemy manages to take me out. So switching over to the end screen on this one, we wind up with four kills, seven components destroyed, 595 damage done.
Moving on to our next drop. This one has us playing a skirmish match on Solaris City. So let's get into this and see how this is going to go down. We've already come across an enemy King Crab. And who doesn't like King Crab with lots of hot, juicy butter? So let's see if we can get some work done on this King Crab. Maybe take some claws off. Maybe crack open a few crab legs. Who knows? But I've got to be careful about this because... Obviously, he's got way more firepower and armor, and this is where the power of the ECM is so important. He's busy focusing my teammates, and he's not really paying attention to the fact that he's taking damage off his left side, because I would be a pretty squishy target if he decided to focus me. Now, something just blew off the crab. I think we've managed to take, I don't know, left arm, left torso, and he's <laughs> definitely trailing some smoke. Okay, now he realizes that I'm here and he's going to shoot at me. But in the New meantime, we have another target trying to hide behind the pillar. But we've got that nice claw. Target's and if target. I can take a claw off the king crab, I'll be happy with that. He's also open left torso. If I can thread the needle, if there's enough gap in the structures, I can get some work done and hopefully take that left torso acquired. as well again I've got to be careful because if he starts calling out my position to his teammates I could be in a world of hurt and now a timber wolf has pushed through he is open right torso and a couple of volleys we managed to open up his back and that's when he realizes that I'm here he spins to engage me which isn't quite the way I wanted it to go because he has more firepower than I do but he's opened both torsos in the heat of things right left hey they all blur together but we do manage to take his right torso he's now open center torso but before he can get the kill shot he blows himself up by overheating how unfortunate i guess that means i've actually got to knuckle down and work for my kills on this match but that brings out a very very important thing positioning and the sheer power of ecm how many shots I've managed to get in on enemy units without them realizing that I was there. And now we found three of them trying to pull back into Echo 4. And again, they're focused on units in front of them and not watching their left flank where I am. And that allows me to get in even more damage. I'm going to follow them, parallel their movements, and hopefully I'll get some additional angles on these retreating enemy units and as I come around the corner sure enough I've got some great back shots including this mad dog and he's trailing smoke so I'm sure he's pretty heavily damaged and we managed to punch through I think that was CT getting the kill on the mad dog now here comes Juliet hunchback we've got to be careful of him he's ultra 20 times 2 which is not ideal However, Hunchback 2s are a bit squishy, and we managed to punch through his center torso for kill number two. And there's our friend, the King Crab from earlier, so maybe we can finish off what we started on this hapless King Crab. But before we can get a full kill shot on that open CT, one of his teammates pushes through, and that is the Gargoyle. But I notice he's also open CT. So I'm going to kite him. Keep coming, Gargoyle. Keep coming. Right around this corner, I've got a nice volley of lasers for your center torso. And down goes the Gargoyle for kill number three. Moving back up into our original position, King Crab is still there. Let's see if we can get a couple of quick little chip shots. One more ought to do it on that center torso. And sure enough, there goes the King Crab for New kill number acquired. four. So at this point, I am going to push in towards the center to help out my teammates. Score target is destroyed. nine to eight, well, 10 to eight because they just chalked up a kill themselves. And something with ECM or stealth is here in the center. I saw the low signals and here comes Mr. Raven. I don't know what he was thinking, but uh, he has been discovered. And here's another important aspect of the laner. Being as fast as I am, this Raven has no chance. He cannot outrun me fast enough to get any distance. And we punch through his rear torso to get our 
fifth kill of the match. Spinning back towards the center, I want to regroup with my teammates to hunt the final enemy mech, and I quickly catch him out of the corner of my eye. He's actually there in the center. I call it out to my teammates. One of them gets a shot off on him, and I push in in hot pursuit. Now I'm getting low signals, so that means it's an ECM or stealth unit, and rounding the corner, sure enough, it is a commando with stealth and he is tanking my alpha strikes like a boss how many times do i have to shoot this guy to put him down he's just eating up my weapons fire but i'm gonna get one more shot and i think it went through side torso and that takes him out at the corner of the building for kill number six switching over to the end screen on this one we wind up with six kills 14 components destroyed 902 damage done